Hello everyone and welcome back to another Universe Sandbox 2 video. Now it's been um been a few days since I obviously made a video since it has been Christmas, so hopefully you all had a good Christmas. But today we're coming back to the Christmas solar system which I made on Christmas Eve. So we're gonna probably go ahead and finish this today. So yeah, hopefully you guys all enjoy this video. Make sure you had a good well, hopefully you all had a good Christmas, sorry, and yeah, let's get into this. And also guys, before we get started, we are closing in on that 2k barrier so closely now. If I just look at our subscribers, just so just bear with me here. We are currently at, let's see, come on, load, please, come on. We are currently at 1,968, so we're only 32 away from that 2,000 barrier. So we're so close, just cannot thank everyone enough who has subscribed, supports the channel, leaves a like, comments, just all of that. Just cannot thank you enough. This is insane, just can't thank you enough. It's so, so appreciate it, like... I never thought I'd get to like a hundred, let alone two thousand. This is this is amazing stuff. So let's get, let's see if we can get that before the end of the year as planned, because I, I we are we're definitely on target for that. So should be pretty cool stuff. But I've also got the comments up um, on part one of this um, or part one of the Christmas solar system video here. So you guys are giving me some more ideas to add into this solar system because, like I mentioned last episode, I wasn't too sure about how to do this. But now I think we've got more idea of what to do for the or for this system. So without further ado, we'll get straight into it. So let's see what we got here. So people say Merry Christmas. Well, Merry Christmas to you. Hopefully you had a good time. Um, okay, so we've got some names of some of the stars. So Hatton, then Dem. I can't pronounce that one, but yeah, well, we can use that for. Um, oh, that's for a, that's for one of the planets. Okay, so. Hatton. We can use that for one of the stars. Okay, we can do that. So let me just uh, go to one of these Trappist ones and paste that in like that. So there we go. We've got one, <laughs> I guess. So there's that. All right, what else have we got here? Oh, yeah, Mrs. Claus. We could have that as Trappist one. Yeah, nice. Okay, we can do that as well. So let's have this one as a uh, Miss, Miss, Miss Claus. <laughs> so I like that. Wait, did I spell that right? C O A U S. Wait, let's spell it. Oh, yeah, okay, I did spell it right. Okay, cool. Alright, some ideas for a new series. Okay, we, I can read that um, and maybe make a video. Because I've actually um, I've got some interesting videos coming for the end of the year and um, 2018 as well. So, yeah, keep up to date. Um, or subscribe if you haven't already, you know. <laughs> this is sort of looking a bit cheeky there. But, yeah, um, yeah, I've got some good, interesting ideas planned for this. So, should be pretty interesting. Oh, should, um, should be an interesting run. And, yeah, the future holds great stuff, I guess. So, there's that. Okay, I think also for one of the Trappist ones. No one mentioned this, but this is just... I've been thinking about it as well. Trappist 1 is a red dwarf star. And Rudolph... Rudolph the reindeer has a red nose. So I think this would be quite a good combo. So if we call this one Rudolph, like... Is that how you... Sp uh, 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 press the... Rudolph, like that. I think that's how you spell it. Rudolph. Yeah, I think that's right. I think I, think I spelled that right. If I didn't, I'm sorry. <laughs> and then the last Trappist planet... Or Trappist star. Hmm... What do we call this one? We've got snowman, snowstorm, ice over there. What else could we have? Hmm, what could we name this? Hmm, Christmas, Christmas. For no apparent reason, I'm going to call this Candy Cane. <laughs> I, I don't know. I think that's sort of like a Christmassy in a way, so... Yeah, there's that. Now the star. What could we call this? Star, star. Actually, I'm going to call this the North Pole. Because it is a white, or it is a quite a bright sort of star in the night sky, so I think I think that will be quite a good name for it. Hmm. So that's good. Okay, so we've got all the stars named now, which I like. I also want to extend the asteroid belt out across the whole system as well. So I want to have like the whole system as just a giant asteroid belt with some planets and stars in it, just to really add that sort of Christmassy snow effect in. Because I think that'll be very very interesting stuff. So. We can also add some more planets in as well. So, where is one here? There was one in the comment saying about a planet name. Um, let's see. Da -da -da, where is it? All right, so this name here. So, a red or green planet. So, do we have a green planet yet? We've got we've got Snowstorm, which is obviously the white gas giant. We've got Snowman, which is a frozen rocky planet. We've got Santa, which is the um, the red the red planet. That, that is a pretty cool planet. 
Then we've got some random moons here. These are like elves. So actually, we can go back to some of these now and actually change the color of them because I remember some of them, the color options weren't um, done properly. But now we've reloaded the simulation since we're in another episode. We can actually now change the color of these guys. So let's have that as another green sort of um, color. Okay, that's looking good. And then the last one must be this one. Oh, okay, this one. There we go. So let's just go ahead and change the color of these. So I just I won't give these ones custom names. Just pretend they're elves. <laughs> I guess so. Let's leave them like that. Okay, there we go. So they're all green now. So all the elves are orbiting Santa there. So that's good. Right, just check on their orbits. Okay, so that's all working good. Okay, good to see. So we've got all the red stars are all there nicely lined up. So yeah, here's our system so far. It's not really the biggest ever, but I don't think it needs to be big to be interesting. So yeah, this is that we've never done anything with like four stars like this before, I don't think. So yeah, this is quite a nice, unique little um, system. So this is like the final, final episode of Coloured Solar Systems, I think. Because we've done everything. We've done all of the colours I could pretty much think of. We've done the rainbow system. And now we've done like a Christmas coloured theme system. I guess we could have done a Halloween one. But I did sort of do a Halloween background for the main solar system here. I guess that's, I guess that could count. But yeah, we've, we've pretty much done everything for the coloured system. So this will probably be like the final, final episode of like the coloured series now. So hopefully you guys all enjoyed this long run. Because the coloured solar system series, that that is probably been one of the biggest achievements on my channel i'd say because when i first released the episode of the blue solar system everyone really enjoyed it like it got a lot of views quite quickly got a lot of likes quite quickly it got plenty of positive feedback so thanks to everyone who actually watched the original episode of color solar systems because it was originally just planned as a one-off video it was actually a pre-recorded video i made for when like when i was going to holiday to nasa when we were around 800 subs because yeah if you, if you um haven't been here as long as um some of the other subscribers who have been around since about seven eight hundred subscribers i actually went to nasa in the summer in um florida um and i pre-recorded some videos and then the colored solar systems the original episode which was blue i recorded that as a um or i pre-recorded it um when i went on holiday so yeah, pretty interesting stuff there i recommend you go back and watch that nasa video and some of the old colored solar system ones if you haven't because you should enjoy them yeah i recommend it but anyways back to this since i've just been uh slacking on a bit let's actually get back to what we're doing now so what i want to do is like i said i want to go to an asteroid belt here and what we're going to do is actually let's use saturn rings and then what i want to do here is Okay, so we need to have this at um, radius. Let's just have it at two rate. Oh, let's go four radius, and let's have it going out to AU. Okay, so how far out is Snowman here? So Snowman is currently okay, eight AU away. Okay, so let's just have it. Um, let's go back to the star here. So let's have it at four radius. Now let's have this going up to sixteen. So that's oh, no, not twenty six. Sixteen AU. So. Then we want to go to manual colours, and we're just going to do it up to white, so it's all working good. Hmm, Saturn or Uranus rings? Hmm. Okay, we'll just roll with Saturn, I think that'll be fine. So, now if we go to add it to the North Pole here, add ring. Now we should... Oh, yes, look at that. Okay, so we'll add a few more of those in. So, there you go, there is our snow around our solar system. If we just turn all this off... Look at this! <laughs> it's pretty, pretty cra or crazy, this, so... If you're wondering why they're slightly grey in colour, well, they are white, but if I put it on realistic mode, they're grey since they're, like, if you look from the centre of the star, so you see that from the light going outwards, they're white. But if you zoom out and look at it from the other side, they're more grey coloured. Pretty interesting stuff there, but there you go. Alright, anyways, we're going to go ahead and um, I think this we could do with one more planet in here, since I think this system's pretty much almost done now like i don't really see what else we could add and you guys didn't comment anything else if i just go and check the comments here i think you i think i pretty much read all the comments here about suggestions for this system so i think that's it wow we've got 20 likes on that not bad i guess it's pretty good yeah thanks for the likes i don't really ask for like goals i guess let's see if we can beat 20 likes on this i guess see if we can beat previous episode maybe that'd be cool anyways let's see what we got here so yeah I can't pronounce this. De Demobi is a name for a red planet or a green planet. Okay. So we'll use that for a green planet. Since we don't have a green planet yet. We have Santa, which is the red planet. And then we have... um, Then we do have a... um, What's it? The, the green moons. But we don't actually have a green planet. So we're gonna, we'll go ahead and add a green planet in. Since we've already got some white ones out here. Then we have ice as well. Oh yeah, I forgot about ice. Yeah, ice is another gas giant along with snowstorm. And then we have our snowman rocky planet. Okay, cool. Anyways, so if we go back here to... Yeah, we'll just go over a random, random rocky planet. And we'll just pull it... We'll pull it... Um, should we have it? 
Let's put it, just to put it a little further out than Santa. Oh, and it's Naskiski. When, when isn't it? <laughs> it was. Oh, this is like the most default name. Like we. Oh, this is like the most common default name. We always get that name. <laughs> like every every single custom system. I'm pretty sure this name shows up at least once. So we're gonna name it that. So that's what one of you guys said. And then we're gonna make this a green planet. We'll, we'll colonize it as well. Why not? So. Let's have it, um, I guess we can have a bit of red on it if we just zoom in on this guy here. So, okay, here we go. So, we just, um, have that as green as well. Okay, that's, no, that's got to be more green. Okay, there we go. And then this colour, red. Ooh, okay. Maybe a little too much red. Let's add, let's add an atmosphere and some water to it first. So, we'll just go with, um, we'll just go with one Earth atmosphere to begin with. Just something simple. Surface pressure of Earth. Okay, it's looking quite dark here. Okay, the temperature's increasing a lot, so we we'll have to increase the albedo a bit. We'll lower this to 0 0.7 ATM just so it cools down. So we don't want it being too hot in temperature. So let's just reset it to zero just to see how hot it will go. We want to add some water to it, obviously, because we need um we need some motions on it to make it look more lively. So let's um go ahead and add a bit of it. Now we'll also pull it up right as well. Okay, looking good. Then we um okay, the temperature's all right, the temperature's fine. Okay, so okay, actually what I want to do is I want to remove wait need to close and reopen that menu I still want to sort of fix that little bug see these options don't appear for some reason yeah if you have an atmosphere you've got to completely close it and reopen it so here it is so maybe we have to remove a bit more of the water to see the red because I do want to I don't want see there's a red there yeah red's on low elevation isn't it okay what if we have it on high elevation like that is that is that visible in any way if we just put this to green quickly any red visible? Okay, it doesn't look like it. Okay, well, I guess we'll just have to have these as, or this one as red then. Okay, so we've got like a red and green mix here. So that's good. And then we'll have, we'll obviously add our water back to it. Not too much. Now that's a little too much. So something like that. I think that looks good. So we'll add the clouds and atmosphere back. Okay, there we go. Okay, cool. So, ooh, temperature's still increasing a little too hot, my liking. So decrease the infrared efficiency, increase the albedo a bit more, and then decrease the surface pressure slightly more as well. So hopefully that will stay okay so it's cooling down so 41 degrees that, that's fine that, that works but it's still getting colder which is good so there we go there's that so there's the north i do like the north part i think that's quite a good name i thought of there so there is that okay i think one more i think one more object should do this so what could it be one more hmm christmas theme what could what could go in a christmas theme system what we haven't done already hmm because, yeah, this, this is going to be the final part for um, the Christmas system as well. I think this doesn't need to be a three-parter or, or actually a four-parter like the rainbow system. Because the rainbow system was definitely way, way, way bigger than this one is. This is a lot smaller in size as well since the furthest planet is only 8 AU away. The rainbow system, on the other hand, had, like, planets going out to 20 AU, I think. Like, this is a lot. This is quite a small system compared to the coloured ones previously here. So, that's interesting. Okay, so... Uh, I've definitely read all the comments. Okay, so... Okay, I've done all of them. Okay, I guess we could have a planet called Reindeer. Because we do have Rudolf as the red dwarf. Um, as one of the... Well, one of the Trappist ones here. But that's just Rudolph. What we just have one called Reindeer. And Reindeers are sort of a... Um, well, Reindeers are brown, aren't they? They're like a brownish... Like their fur's brown, isn't it? So, I guess we could have a brown sort of planet. So, yeah, let's go and do that. So, there's that. Gunpati, I remember this one as well. Okay, so let's just call this one reindeer. So, like that. Wait, I, did, I didn't. No, that's not spelt right, is it? <laughs> I'm sure that isn't spelt right. Wait, let me just search that quick. I can't even, oh, I'm so bad. How do I not know how to spell that? Oh, it's okay. I get it. Right, I, I, I'm really stupid. It's R E I N. Yeah. There, there we go. How oh, am I so stupid? Okay, forget about it. <laughs> All right, so. Now we're just going to make this one slightly more um, brownish in colour as well, just to represent sort of a reindeer. Okay, that's, okay, that's looking good. Let me just um, see them. Just, yeah, they're like a brownie, grey sort of coloured animal, so... Yeah, I think... Yeah. I'm just looking at a picture of one now. So yeah, they're like a sort of a creamy, brown, grey sort of colour, depending on where they are. So, I'll have to brighten that up a bit. Hmm, okay, it's a bit... Mm. That brown's a little too dark for my liking. If we make it a little brighter, okay, there we go. I think that I think that looks good. What about if we have it as red? No, that's wet. Well, that is way too much red. So let's just put that back to what it was. Just. Okay, so that's, that's pretty much right. So a bit more like that. There we go. So 
Yeah, we'll also make this planet slightly larger in size. We'll put it up to three masses of Earth, and then this radius has obviously got a little bigger as well. Okay, so there we go. So we've got a reindeer now. And then we've also got Rudolph as well over there. So I think that does it for the Christmas solar system. So, yeah. I think that does it for our 2017 Christmas special as well, since Christmas has gone now. So this, uh, this series needs to go with it, I guess. So there's our Christmas system. So, mm, the rainbow system is still my personal favourite. Like you guys know, if you seen, what, if you saw when I made this, that that is definitely the best. But yeah, this one's this one's pretty good, but definitely not my best. The best is definitely the rainbow, if you ask me. But yeah, here's uh, here's our lineup. Then so we've got the North Pole as our main bright star. Then we've got four red dwarf stars, all with different names here. So we've got Miss Claus, Hatton, Candy Cane, <laughs> Candy Cane, and then we've got Rudolph. And then we've got our gas giants. So we've got the snowstorm. Then we've got ice. Then we've got our Santa red planet, looking really nice red there. Then we've got the um, Demobi, I can't pronounce that one, so I'm so sorry. But yeah, we've got this one here, which is a the red and greenish sort of planet. Then we've got our reindeer, which is a nice brown coloured one. Then we've got Snowman, which is the um, frozen white rocky planet. Then we've got the small little elf moons, the elves, all, all in green. So yeah, there we go. There is our Christmas system, guys. So... Yeah, hopefully you guys all enjoyed this sort of like two-part mini Christmas series, I guess. So make sure you did hit that like button. Subscribe for more helps on the journey to 2,000 subscribers because that would be insanely awesome. Just like I said at the beginning of the video, cannot thank you enough. Just means the world to me. Like, it's just insane. Just cannot appreciate it enough. Like, 2,000, that is mad. Just cannot, yeah, just cannot thank you guys enough. You're awesome. And Happy New Year as well since that is coming up um, next week as well. So... Yeah, make sure you guys will have a great new year if you are seeing this video around the new year period. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.